Hey everyone, welcome to Preface Nomad Junior. I'm Sal. Today I'm going to be giving you an app inventor tutorial on an app that blinks the text and shows a picture. It also blinks. Let's get into it. Alright, so let's begin. Um, I have my media files ready, uh, the sound and image files. Um, you can use yours, but if you want these, let us know in the comments. Uh, if you remember in the app, there is a an image of stars and there is a text written by that side, uh, by its side, says blink blink star. So what we're going to do is, um, if you remember, uh, it is it was arranged horizontally. So what we want to do is we want to include a horizontal arrangement over here. I'm going to remake rename it to banner H A and we'll set its height to 25% set the width to fill parent now what we want to do is we want to include an image because uh, if you remember the stars was an image and we'll include that in the horizontal arrangement because um, the stars were on the left of the banner so let's rename this to icon image and set the height to 25% set the width to 33% if you see we have two pictures over here for starters we're gonna just select picture one okay so we have our picture over here and uh, we want to set the banner to default okay now let's include some labels over here so um, this label is going to be named uh, app name because we want to name the app over here which is bling bling star gonna take the font to bold Gonna set the font size to 24. Text is gonna be bling bling star. And since the background color of the banner is black, we'll set this to white so it's visible. And we wanna set another label, which is the information label, which is which will say this is not a boring label, uh, boring banner. Let's rename it to information label. Again, the same sound font board. Let's keep it to 14. And uh, the text color to white. We want to say this is not a boring label. Now, if you remember in the app, this these two things were supposed to be on top of each other. So uh, the information label is supposed to be below blink blink star. So in this horizontal arrangement, we can see that they everything is going to be side to side. And uh, what we want to do is we want to keep this image on the side and have the information label below blink blink star. So we're going to in introduce another component, which is a vertical arrangement. So what vertical arrangement is, you can think of it as um, something opposite to horizontal arrangement. So in horizontal arrangement, things are in side by side. In vertical arrangement, they are arranged like a burger. So everything's going to be on top of each other. So it's going to be a bun, then it's going to be patty, then it's going to be a, another bun. So uh, that is why we'll uh, use vertical arrangement because we want these two things to be on top of each other. So we're going to include bling bling star over here. This is not boring label over here. Going to place this inside there. And since we don't care about the background color, so we're going to just do this to none. Um, set the height to fill parent. Set the width to fill parent. 
and align horizontal to center. Until now, we have a static banner, but it's too boring. Remember how the app works as we have shown you in the beginning? It keeps changing the icon and the text color of the app name label and also keeps playing a ding sound. To do these repetitive things in App Inventor, we need a component called clock to run codes again and again in every time interval. Now we, what we want to do is that we want to make the text and the image blink so that they will change their colors from yellow to white and back to yellow again and again. For that we're going to use a component called clock. So what clock does is it functions like a normal clock and keeps counting time. So say uh, you're on a running track and want to walk for five minutes and run for five minutes. A clock component can help you do that. It can count five minutes and whenever the five minutes are complete, it can tell you so that you know whether you have to run or you have to walk. We're going to use the clock component to tell us after some time to change the color of the text and the picture. So we're going to include two clocks. Okay, so starters, we're going to keep the timer enabled of clock one and clock two's timer disabled. Now, if you remember, uh, in the previous lesson, we taught you about sound component and uh, we, we can actually use the sound component over here to play the ding sound and provide it the source file that it needs to play that sound. Let's name ding sound. Let's take the source to plink.mp3. So whenever ding sound is called to play, it will play this file. So why we need two versions of the clock is because there are two versions of the banner. The one is white, one is the other one is yellow. And we want to show the white one and the yellow one for a certain amount of time. Say for each second, for one second we show uh, white and for the other second we show yellow. And then for the next second we show white again, then yellow, then white, then yellow. So let's see how we can program this. Let's go to blocks and uh, let's see the so let's take this block when clock one dot timer so what it does is whenever uh, the timer runs out like say um, say we have set the timer interval for five seconds so this procedure is going to get called after every five seconds of clock one so um, we'll set the icon image picture to be Let's take a text, 2.png at this time. Okay, and we'll set the app name label, text color to yellow. Now we can duplicate this to set the information labels to text color to also yellow and then what we want to do is we want to uh, call this clock timer to be not enabled so we'll set its timer enabled to false this will dis disable its timer and we have to enable the clock two's timer so what we'll do is we'll do clock two timer enabled and turn it to four. true and whenever clock one's timer run out runs out we want to play the ding sound so we'll call ding sound dot play we want to do something similar for clock two so we'll just duplicate this and set this to clock two at this time we want to set the icon image picture to one dot png text color to again white which was the default text color and change this clock one to clock two so at this time clock two gets disabled and clock one runs again so for a say for a second this runs and then clock one gets disabled clock two gets enabled at that time this runs the clock two is going to get disabled and clock one is going to get enabled again and then this is going to run we'll just remove the ding sound from here okay so let's see 
how this pans out. Let's see it in the app. So if you see right now, the building sound plays really slow and also the colors changing really slow. So we want to speed this up and for that we'll see how we can do that. Okay, so how we can speed this up is that um, now, right now, what this thousand means is in the time interval of clocks is that this procedure is going to get called after every one second. We want to speed things up. So what we will do is that uh, we want to call these procedures after every point one second. So we'll just make the thousand a hundred and let's see the effect in the app. Now it seems as the blinking and the ding sound are the correct time that we wanted. So they're not fast, not slow now. It's just right. All right, so what did we learn today? We learned about vertical arrangements, which is simply the opposite of horizontal arrangement. As in, in vertical arrangement, components are stacked onto one another like a burger, whereas horizontal arrangement has them side to side. Secondly, we learned about the clock component, which is a non-visible component. What the clock component can be used for is to count for intervals in time. Say you want to execute something every 5 seconds. We can use the clock component for that, as in it can call the event when the 5 seconds run out and we can execute some code after every 5 seconds. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.